What's up guys, this is Reno Ranchero with another Hardcore Games gameplay commentary for you all. In this video, which is another episode to my Summer Kit Challenge, I'll be playing with the Vampire Kit. The Vampire Kit was recently changed so that when you kill someone, you get all of your hearts back, and if you kill someone with full health, you get a splash potion of health, which is pretty cool. We start this game off here, there's a guy just standing there, I can't hit him because these blocks are flowing my movement. You know what the Time Lord Kit does, it's pretty great. Anyway, I'm jumping around trying to hit these guys, there's a lot of swords and stuff happening, I try to refill. I have a little bit over a hot bar left trying to fight this guy named Click Dorito, and I am fighting him here. He's able to run away though as I use... A few more soups. Uh, so right here, I'm able to refill. I have about one hot bar left, and I go back to fight this guy named Click Dorito. I get a little combo on him, and he dies. But right when that happens, I get full health because of the vampire kit, and I'm fighting this guy Explouser PVP. I am jumping up and down, hitting this guy who has an Optifine cape, and now I'm gladiated. So I run in here, swinging my sword fast, trying to get some nice combos on Explouser PVP, and that's how I'm saying it because that's what it says. He runs over. I put another soup in my hot bar and continue to fight him and then right there he dies and all of his soups are all over me I get full health and then I get time lorded by Mr. Bob who's not wearing pants because they're just a theory and Bob dies and logs out of the game and I get credit for the kill we're moving on here there's a guy down here named Dermuki who's a little scary and he doesn't have any soup but he's got a lot of iron tons of iron actually I'm able to tower out and get to his loot because I kind of fell he had 23 iron which is crazy I mean we're like about five minutes into this game and that's a lot of of iron. I mine about three more so I can have 26 and I make a few furnaces and start smelting it. But I am kind of close to spawn. There's a lot of name tags around. This guy right here is obnoxious. Uh, there he is. He kind of has this little hidey hole. He's trying to jump up and hit me so I can't hit him, which is a little scary. He's playing the Hulk kit. He jumps up down, gets me just to one heart, which is a little frustrating. So I put a wood block right there so he can't really hit me. Uh, so I'm going through trying to get all my iron. I hit him a few more times there trying to end his life. He gets scared. And then right here, listen carefully, what happens here is I back up, this guy actually leans forward and goes into one of my furnaces and takes a couple of iron, which is pretty annoying, so I can't make an iron sword now, but I do have full iron armor, which is great. As I'm in this cave system, this guy jumps down named Gust Play, he is the same guy from earlier, he does not have any armor, so I'm able to get a lot of hits on him right here, I hit him twice and he dies, he was cast away, but then right here as I'm going through my stuff, I hear someone fall down, it is La La Boo 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 and Mr. La La Boo Boo is an Urgle Urgle which is pretty annoying. He's got the strength but I'm killing lots of mobs and getting free health because with Vampire when you kill mobs you get the health which is pretty great. And I just keep fighting him right here. The mobs are more annoying than anything else. He's refilling very well in this fight because he doesn't have any armor. And then right there I kill the guy with my stone sword. So that is great. I get the health advantage and all that nice stuff and now I have a lot of mushrooms, 52 of each. I waste a lot of time here just kind of being dumb. I really wanted to get a stone axe, but I apparently don't know how to go through a loot. I am able to get a stone axe, though, because that's great. If you get trapped in some ender mage thing, you can, uh, you know, have a nice time. But, you know, ideally you don't want to be in an ender mage trap. You want to avoid that at all costs. So I think the vampire kit is great. It brings back old memories. But before I talk about that, we get this guy here who is a specialist named Dookie. Uh, he hits me right there, and that really offends me. It really hurts my feelings, so I decide to not let him hit me, him, hit me anymore. And Dookie903 dies a tragic death. He had an unbreaking iron sword, so that doesn't help me too much. And now I have an iron pickaxe and some snowballs in case we deal with any towers in this game. Uh, so we got the boss 2-2 on my compass. And I'm kind of afraid of him. The feast is going to start in just five minutes now. I have my coordinates up, so I decided to make my way towards the feast location. And I realize right here that the boss 22 is actually a towerer who is way up high, which is pretty scary. We got someone named Lucas who's coming by. Uh, he is talking in the chat, and I have a feeling he might be on a team, but I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here, folks. Uh, so I'm just sort of chilling, eating food, and looking around. And then I see him. He's actually by himself in full iron armor. He is down on the feast. He really can't get out because he can't place blocks until the feast starts. And there's a lot of um, ravines on the outside, so kind of a scary time if you get comboed, you're probably going to die from fall damage. But this guy is just way up high, I have no idea what kitty is. I kill some zombies to get free health and experience and all that nice stuff. The feast is going to start in just about 10 seconds. Now I think about queuing soup to go break the chest with an axe, but then I realize that the stomper is dead, Lucas killed him. 
so I'm able to run in and fight him without any fear. She's got the diamond leggings. I get some really nice combos on Lucas with my unbreaking iron sword. I am jumping over here, critting him, hitting him more times. He's only able to hit me a couple of times in this fight. He takes fall damage right there from my combo. I jump up, hit him a few more times, and he puts down lava. The cheapo strategy, which is pretty annoying. I mean, I've done it to people before, but I mean, it's always annoying when it happens to you. I'm able to refill right there and then go back to comboing him even though I'm on fire. I'm trying to hit him back into his own lava to give him a taste of his own medicine. And right there as I hit him, he falls into his own lava. I hit him a couple more times. He tries to get me back into lava and as I'm getting the suit back into my hot bar, Lucas Player SP is dead. Which is great, so I'm going back into the feast. I get almost full diamond armor, grab the stake and the bow and all these nice things I enjoy. Lots of arrows, I get a sharpness on my diamond sword, power on my bow. And I go through one more time to make sure I have everything that I want from the feast, and I blow it up, which is great. So now I realize these two guys are on a team. They are they are trapping because they're underground, at least that's what I'm assuming. So I get really close to them to get someone else on my compass, and I find the guy right here named Dr. Duker. He hits me in the feet right there. It's actually Dr. K. Ruler, but whatever, guys. And he dies right there. He didn't have any soup. And then I do the same thing. I get close to their trap and right-click my compass to get someone else. Now I have Master Pro Gamer 12, who I hit a couple times, he takes fall damage and he dies. So now it's me and the last two players in the game, and because they're doing a cheap, cheaping, cheap, cheap strategy, I decide to wait for the pit, and now they're both towering up as I expected. I have my bow ready. I knock that guy, I actually miss right there, and the second arrow and snipes him, and the ender mage dies. So that is great, and the last guy in the game is in his little tower. And I don't want to do anything silly because I don't want to die in the pit. That'd be pretty sad after getting so many kills. I think I have 11 kills at this point in the game. Uh, so I'm towering right here. I'm uh, trying to get to him. But right there, he's actually breaking his wood, which gives me a spot to hit him. I use the opportunity to pull back my bow, and I kill him right there with my power one bow. He was the red stoner kit, so obviously he had a trap. And I win the game with the new vampire. I think the new vampire kit is pretty nice. I don't think it's that useful, especially compared to like Berserker and Kangaroo, Specialist, Grappler, Gladiator. I mean, I'd rather play those kits than vampire. But I think if you play during the olden days and you want to have some memories relived, it's kind of nice to play the vampire kit. It does help you maybe a little bit in the beginning of the game. But of course, you can just soup to drink, um, soup to get hearts anyway. It's not that big of a deal to get full health. And anyway, there's no stats page for this game because it did not save on the stats page uh, on my profile, but I believe I got either 11 or 12 kills. And that is the end of this episode of the Summer Kit Challenge. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. I really want to encourage you guys to like it. It helps me out when I see what you guys like so that I know what videos to keep making and which videos to stop making. So it only takes a second to click that thumbs up if you like this video. You can also leave a comment if you have something nice to say. I'd love to hear it. Or you can subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber helps. I really appreciate the support. And when I reach 50,000 subscribers, I will be doing a face cam, which is fun time. So please subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.